Okay, let's start from this. Press Shift A then select text. Press R then X. Type 90 and hit enter to rotate it 90 degree on the X axis. Now go to the text icon and extrude it as you like. I will set it to 0 0.08. Next go to object then to convert and select mesh from curve to convert the text into mesh. Press tab to switch to edit mode. The topology looks bad so let's fix it quickly. Go back to object mode then open the modifier tab and add a remesh modifier. Change the mode to sharp and uncheck this box. Increase the octree dips until the full text appears. Then apply it. Now let's check it in edit mode. The topology is much better. Go back to object mode and add a plane to act as the ground surface. Center it and scale it up. Switch to edit mode and extrude it slightly. Next select the text, go to object, then quick effects and choose quick explode. Press spacebar to play the animation. You will see a quick fracture effect. Press spacebar again to stop, then reset the frame to zero. Now go to particle properties and increase the number to 1000. Let's play the animation again to check the effect. That looks good but you can increase the count if needed. Also change the end frame to 100 so the animation lasts until frame 100. Let's play the animation. It's not working properly but don't worry, we will fix it. Change the end frame to 100 so it resets after reaching frame 100. Now reset the frame to 0 then go to particle properties. Scroll down to texture, select it and click new. Go to the textures tab and change the type to blend. This will make the explosion happen step by step from the left side. Now go back to particles then to catch and click back to see the result. If it doesn't work properly, it's likely due to the back. Just delete the back and try back all dynamics instead. If you run into issues, switch between these two baking options until it works correctly. Now it's working fine. Next, delete the bake. Select the plane, go to physics property and add a collision. Adjust the settings as needed or copy mine. Once done, select the text and back again to check the result. You will notice the particles collide but then start to move and disappear. To fix this, first delete the beak. Then in the emission settings, set the lifetime equal to the end frame, so the particles remain visible until the animation ends. Now back it again. Since bake all dynamics isn't working properly, let's try the other bake option. Now it works as expected. You can also change the explosion effect. For example, let's try diagonal. Switch to front view to see it clearly. As you can see, the text explodes diagonally. Play around with the effects and you can also switch between horizontal and vertical directions. The final step is adding materials. Go to material properties. If the blend mode is set to alpha blend, change it to opaque. Switch from solid view to material preview. Now delete the big then go to shading and change the base color as you like. Go back to layout, move the slider a bit to see the particles. Right now the particles look flat like paper, but we want them to have a 3D look. To fix this, select the text, go to the modifier tab and add a solidify modifier. Move the slider again to check the particles. Now the particles have a 3D look, which is exactly what we want.
set the slider back to zero then bake it one last time that's it for the text explosion animation now let's move on to the pop-up text animation first add a new text and rotate it on the x-axis Switch to edit mode, delete the default text and type your first word. Switch back to object mode, duplicate the text, then go to edit mode again and change the text to another word. You can add as many words as you like. Now press shift A, go to curve and select Bezier. Rotate it 90 degrees on the Y axis, then move it up slightly. Switch to edit mode, select the top vertex. Move it forward on the Y axis and rotate it slightly on the X axis. Go back to object mode. You can adjust the curve shape as needed. Now duplicate the curve and place it next to the second word. Select both words and rotate them negative 90 degrees on the X axis. Or just press Alt R to reset their position. Select one word to go to the text settings and in the geometry extrude it a little bit. Repeat for the second word. Next go to object and convert to mesh. Repeat the process for the second word. Now add an array modifier. Check constant offset and uncheck relative offset. Increase the Z value until there is a visible gap between the copies. Set the count to 5. Now add a curve modifier and for the object select the first Bezier curve. If needed select the picker tool and assign it manually. To align the text properly, select the curve, switch to edit mode, press A to select all words, then right click and choose switch direction. Switch back to object mode, select the text and move it so that the curve is centered. Try increasing the array count. If the text moves downward instead of upward, set the count to 1. Switch to edit mode, select all words and switch direction again. Now return to object mode and try increasing the count again. Move the text downward along the z-axis manually. Now adjust the z-offset and increase the count as needed. Select the curve, switch to edit mode, select the bottom vertex, press N to open the properties panel and decrease the radius to 0 to make the bottom thicker. Switch back to object mode. Check the animation by increasing and decreasing the array count. Now repeat the process for the second word. Select one word, set the array count to 1, then press I to add a keyframe. Move the slider to frame 20 or 30. Increase the count and press I again to add another keyframe. Repeat for the second word. Set the end frame to 30 so the animation loops. Now reset the frame to 0 and play the animation. If you want a faster pop-up, select the last keyframe and move it closer to the first one.
Now let's add on some a shaking effect in the pop-up. So to do this, select the curve, switch to edit mode, select the top vertex, right click, go to snap and select cursor to select it. Switch to object mode, press shift A, go to NPT and select plane axis. Now select the curve, go to modifiers and add a hook modifier. Switch to edit mode, select the top vertex and assign it to the hook modifier. Ok now go back to object mode and for the object select the NPT object. So when we move the NPT object the curve will stretch based on the NPT location. Now let's add a keyframe on it so press eyes and select location. Ok now we finish for this curve let's do the same for the other one. Now let's move this a little bit up, then change it to graphite, graph editor. Ok so in your blender version if there is a modifier option in here, select it and add a noise modifier. If you don't have the option like mine, just go right here to key and there is add a F curve modifier, then select noise. Now let's play the animation. So now it has a shaking effect. You can adjust the noise value if you have the modifier option, if you don't you have only this active option. Ok now add a noise for the other one too. That's it, just add materials and we are done.